this is Doug Chamberlain. Hey, wave to the camera, Doug. <laughs> How old are you now, Doug? 89 years young. This is Doug Chamberlain, and he is a icon of the Canadian theater, having worked in it for a very long time and starting in the theater, in, in the Canadian theater industry, when it was a very young industry for sure. But before you went into theater, you were going to, what do you remember what you were sort of, your career was steering towards? To work at the YMCA. Yeah, so you were actually thinking of a career in the YMCA. Yeah. As um, you, went, you went to Ryerson and you studied radio technique for a year. Yeah. And then, um, it says you were just you were sort of like you know doing this and doing that to work and this girl I was going with says Doug told me I had no guts and that I was just fooling around the theater and was afraid to really try it. I that can't remember was. who it was that said that. Yeah, but then you took off for New York. You hated it and you went to Florida and you worked in burlesque houses and strippers clubs. Oh yeah, I did all kinds of stuff like that. What is one of the first jobs that you remember maybe having in the theater? My Fur Lady. My Fur Lady. And do you remember who directed it? You worked with him many, many times at the Stratford Festival as well. No, you worked with Alan Lund a lot. It was actually Brian McDonald, right? Right. Hey, Brian McDonald. Yep. And I understand, because I have this great article on you, that like, you went to an audition. Do you remember how what happened when you went to the audition for My Fair Lady? You found out that there was auditions at 4 p.m. And you rushed down. You rushed to the auditions. You hadn't prepared anything. And they asked you to dance, but you couldn't. But you said that you burlesqued it and everyone laughed. They asked you to sing. You did two choruses of You Are My Sunshine, just like you were singing to the lady upstairs and everybody laughed. You didn't think you'd get it, you got it. Do you remember any of the theaters that you played at at all? Well, we played right across Canada. You did, that's true. Absolutely. All across Canada. Was it like a year long, maybe? Um, I forget how long it was. Mm -hmm. But it was a long time. And we played every, you know, every little... Tiny, tiny little... Fiddly tail that then... And things. Who do you remember that was in it with you? Peter Views. Yeah. Dine yeah. Island. Dine Island, amazing. Dean Regan. Dean Regan, yep. And then after that, so it says a cross country tour in My Fair Lady followed. And then you worked at, you worked um, up an up tempo review in Montreal. Yes, we played at the Cafe Andre. The Cafe Andre. And it was at like a cabaret style space? It was, uh, so you could have dinner there and then the dinner theater. That ran for a year, it says here. The Up Temple Review ran for a year. That's a pretty good gig. You also worked at the Crest Theater in Toronto? Yes. It was. And on, uh, Mount Pleasant. That's right, Mount Pleasant. You did a lot of shows there, it looks like. Oh, that figure in the book. You see of his boys. Yeah. And Pat Galloway was there. And... Um, you can't take it with you? Yes. The school mistress? You got to work there quite a lot. You did. Well, that's where you and Pat Galloway became such good chums, right? Yeah. Um, and I had, there was just, there was a bunch of names I kept reading about in the reviews about the press, but, um, William Needles was there. Amelia Hall. Millie Hall. She was terrific. Uh, she was the little wee short thing. And uh, she was an older woman, but full of energy. Charmian King? Charmian, yes. Okay. Charmian. Well, she was, before she was married to Gordy. Pinton. Sylvia Gillespie. Oh, yes, Sylvia, yeah. yeah. Oh, she was a very close friend of mine. Yeah. Well, she was a pat. Just for fun. That was in 1960. That was a review. And it was. And it was at the PGD restaurant. Uh, it was directed by Norman Welsh. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah, he was 
He used this chapter for a long time. Spring Thaw. Now, this was a review, I, I believe, yeah. that played uh, like for it like every year. So you weren't in it every year, but this program here, you can see it, 1967. I'll turn it around so maybe want to take a look at it with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Just get some memories there. Yes, and that's a cartoon sketch of Barbara oh, Hamilton yeah. <laughs> with a beaver hat on and a beaver tail and a gun. <laughs> Nothing subtle. Um, it was called Spring Thaw 67 or My Country, What's It To You? <laughs> Dinah Christie, Douglas Chamberlain, Barbara Hamilton, Don Heron, Catherine McKinnon, Peter Muse, Diane Island, Dean Regan, and Ron Langdon. And then John Fenn Watkins was musical direction, and John Fenn was. And um, um, that played, do you remember the theater that that played at? It was one I've never heard of before, the Odeon Fairlawn Theater in Toronto. Well, that was North and Young Street. North and Young. And um, it also toured Southern Ontario, I believe. Yeah. Did it tour Southern Ontario as well? Yes, yeah, it toured tour, all over. Toured all over, and you did the tours with it. Yeah, there's Dinah. Mm -hmm. That's a wee young thing. She started her professional career as a cowboy. I remember that there was no tannoy system, so so Dinah remember used to go around and open up the door and go, "Hurry up, it's five minutes." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that was her first job. There's the handsome Doug Chamberlain and the apparently always mugging Barbara Hamilton. Richard Marilla. Look, look at Don here and Peter Muse. That that was kind of you were really looked up to Peter. Look at Dinah. He looks like a baby there. Um, Ray, Brian Tang, Ray, Dean Zekin. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, so, and do you remember who directed Spring Thaw when you did it? Because Alan, mm -hmm. that's where we keep getting Alan from. He did the 67. Mm -hmm. You also spent some time in Vancouver. Well, I was there for a year. You were there for a year. And did you work like it was at the Playhouse yeah. Theater Company? Yeah. I played consecutively. Right. So they kind of like would just cast you in a whole season, the same yeah. actor. Me. Uh, I see here that you did The Hostage uh -huh. and Charlie's Aunt, maybe. Oh, yeah. You did that in Vancouver. And so you were there for a year. Do you remember anything about your experiences at all? In I love being in Vancouver. The Neptune Theater, were you there it, there uh, for a year in doing shows and rep? Mm -hmm. It looks to me like it was, you know, I can't hear you when the water's running. The Lion in Winter, The Killing of Sister George. Tiger, Tiger, and the flea in her ear. You're mm, too suggestive. Heiner Pillar. And you were in a company, David Foster, these are a few names, Lynn Gorman, M Margaret McLeod, Harry Tweed, Sandy Webster. Do they sound familiar to you at all? Yes, they were all in the team. Do you oh. remember doing the Talk of Toronto Dinner Theater with Heiner directing with me? Mm -hmm. Names at sea because there's a picture of Doug, Doug somewhere as the captain. That you were in a Toronto Children's Theatre production of then Andrew Cleese and the Lion. Andrew Cleese and then the, and the lion. lion. Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, I remember having fun with it. Do you remember what up. roles you did play in Anne of Green Gables? I played. Um, um, I played Matthew. Yep. And I played uh, uh, Mr. Phillips. Do you remember any of the Prissies that you worked with? The Prissy Andrews. Uh, and then, then Prissy Andrews was played by Andrea Martin. Oh, know? Andrea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And do you remember any of the other shows that you did? Oh, yes. I said we were over the love, over the love before. Johnny Belinda. Oh, I love. Yeah, I was Gilbert. Yeah. yeah. That's how we met. That's how we became chums. Yeah. I was Gilbert and you were Matthew and I had a really short period of time to learn it. And Alan Lund came up to you and said, Larry needs help with his theater makeup and Doug is our resident makeup expert. And you went, I am. And Maude Whitmore that always played. Oh yeah, sing me the song that you sang there, Larry. 
<laughs> well, it's, it's not appropriate bit. anymore. Just a little bit. I want to be in Tennessee, in Tennessee, in Tennessee paradise. paradise. That angel voice I do. I mean, my man is blue. I'd give my soul if I could stroll down along those hills again. Then, then, the world would not be dreary then. Remember that it would segue into this, Doug. La, 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 dun, dun, dun. So long, too long. How long are you going to be gone? Why, 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 why? Your little Japanese. <laughs> we'll be waiting underneath the bamboo tree. That's where I'm not going any further. And then you were in England for a while. What what took you to England? Oh, I did a review. I did uh, Clamp Hands. I went over with. You went over to England with that and then decided to stay? Is that the idea? That's right. Neat. And Gord was there. Gord was there. That's right. They oh. brought Paul Corinne. Yeah, really. Do you remember any of the shows or any of the routines that you did? I see something here called the RMC. Or oh, can't see, you can't see where the RMC is. Where, so, can't you see where the RMC and the RMC is there? And how long do you remember being in England? Oh, I was there for a few years. How was how was theater there different than can, Canadian theater? Because the boards do more. There was more work there, basically. Yes. And how come you could work in England at that point in time? Because you could. Uh, it was reciprocal. Reciprocal, right? What made you want to come back to Canada then? Probably board. And then there was a little show. Called the Boyfriend. Oh yeah. That played a uh, new run Montreal at Niagara Falls. Well, that, we played Niagara Falls. That was in 1960. Now, you also worked at the Manitoba Theater Center. Mm hmm. Working with Eric Duncan. The show was called In the Gazebo. John Hirsch, I think, was the artistic director. And you also did the Fantastics. You were a, the one of the father of the children. And the other father of the other child is a very long time friend of yours and a very like a fixture in Canadian theater as well. He played Snoopy on Broadway. Oh, um, uh, uh, Grand Cowan. You were also in The Legend of the Dumbbells. This is the, the National Arts Center. There's a picture of Doug on the front. All right. Oh, is that Jimmy White at the bottom there of that picture? I don't know, I can't see. I think that's the show that Jimmy White had his uh, fate, like a real gun, but obviously not loaded. Yeah. But it had a bayonet at the end, mm -hmm. and Jimmy was an amazing baton twirling person. Yeah, he yeah. could do all this stuff. So in that show, he did all these tricks with his gun and spun it around mm -hmm. like a, like mm -hmm. a, and at one point, the, the bayonet came off of the end of the rifle and shot into one of the seats, but luckily no one was sitting there. You know who else was in this? Do you remember Wanda Cannon? Wanda, yes. Yeah, Brian McKay. Yeah. Barry Woods. Uh -huh. George Murner. Legend of the Dumbbells. Ooh. It was fun to do. We were all soldiers in it. And, uh, We toured it, and uh, we took it. We took it to several different places, and uh, it was fun to do. Mm -hmm. It was really fun to do. And then you worked at a theater called Talk of Toronto yes. the Inner Theater. Do you remember any of the shows you did there at all? Oh gosh, there. A lot of reviews. A lot of reviews. Larry, you want to help him out with the show he did there? Maybe well, share the a few minutes. See, you were you played the you the played the captain, captain and the stage manager and um, mm -hmm. Dave at Sea. Yeah, yeah. I remember because Bert and Heiner Pillar, and they were a small group of people that put up their own money to start talking to Ronald Dennis here. 
That's right. And we and I think we were the first show. Oh, were you? I think. Those Danes at sea. Are there any stories you can tell that are family friendly, Larry? About that? Yeah. <laughs> that involved Doug? Well, Doug, I don't know if you remember, remember Patty, Patty Jane, Patty James. James. Yeah. Who was so funny. Uh, and in, if you did a double show, because it's a dinner theater, you can get, you got a free meal. Mm -hmm. And she had a plate full of food and she was walking up the stairs in her tap shoes still. And she <laughs> split <laughs> pushed the food all in her face. But of course, <laughs> we, we just laughed. Yeah. I was saying to, uh, to Kiri, that half the time you and I would remember stuff more about all the crazy stuff that happened in the wings, the backstage crazy, than the show itself. Uh, and finally, uh, Stratford. Do you remember when you were at Stratford the first time at all? The very first time I was at Stratford, uh, I... The canvas barricade. In 1961. Or, it had a role in it. I have a great picture of you. This is it. And you're doing the splits. You're jumping in the splits. I'm going to show this to you. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was Two gentlemen of Verona. What year was that? 1975. Mm -hmm. And it looks sort of like a modern dress. You look kind of very suave and sunglasses and everything. Yeah. And, then, and there you are in your drag, mm -hmm. the gondoliers, 1983 mm -hmm. with Eric. Yeah. And you were here, I'm going to show this to the camera. That's when they're poor, and his um, they had his wig in a shipwreck. And then when they got lots of money, he would come back out in a really full regalia. The ship was all perfect. And oh. So that was the shot of you when you were poor. Mm -hmm. and there's Kiss Me Kate, 89, with Dale Miskey. Here is the Twelfth Night, 91. And we've got William Dunlop, Mr. Toby Dutch, yeah. Ron Menzies as Sir Andrew Agachi, and Douglas Chamberlain as Festive. Yeah. And there was Galloway and Galloway. There you are, none more. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Pat Galloway, Sarah Bernhardt. But yeah, because you and Pat were all long, long time chums. Mm -hmm. You are Anything Goes, 2004. And then look at Douglas Chamberlain plus 35 years of going in circles, there and back again. So they must have done this article on you then. Yeah. Made his Stratford debut in 1961. Yep. And um, yeah, who made this for him? Uh, Roy. Roy from know. Roy from Props made yeah. this for you. Yeah, which is so great of Roy. He's retired now, but. Do you have a favorite role in your in your career that you really remember at all, or a, a favorite play? <laughs> Uh, the, the only one I remember uh, is Matthew.
before we finish, if there's just, I, I have some pictures of you. These are not theater pictures, but they are, I got to figure out, I want to know the story behind them. This, this is one. You're oh, teaching I, somebody I, to dance, Doug. What's the story there? Oh, that was when I was working at Arthur Murray's. <laughs> Arthur Murray dance. And she was, she was, uh, she was hippo. Oh, what? really? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, forget her name. Yeah, it was the Arthur Murray's. This one, this one makes me giggle like mad, this conga line picture. Are the birds as well? Yeah, yeah. So you taught dance at Martha Murray's. Mm -hmm. That was a job you had. Uh -huh. so I'm going to show you a few pictures of you. I don't know if you'll remember what they're from. Oh, I see that one. So that was from uh, the Fantastics. It says on the back. Or Toronto. It, or Toronto. It does it say does, Toronto. So you well, played it Toronto. in Toronto as well. Okay. Yeah. Made it to speed the Oh, okay. Well, the and then I'm going to show you this one. This is very early in your career. Let me see if you recognize this one at all. There you go. Oh, oh. that was a young man. Yeah, you sure wow. were. Uh, uh, the school mistress. That's right. Press Theatre. Then you accepted a year scholarship at the Press Theatre in Toronto. So I love this one. This is a great photo. Doug's there with his grease black hair and the black jacket. Well, there's just Ron Hartman. That's right. And Bill Needles, I think, is maybe the guy you're strangling. Sounds like the Crest Theatre was a real training ground for you. Yeah. It really was. Yeah, yeah, you just got to do play and show up. And then show one more. Great people. Love this one. Uh, it's, I don't know if you can see it, it's a bit smaller. I certainly recognize who that show that's from and who you would be playing. Can you see that? Oh, it would be Mr. Phillips. That's right, Mr. Phillips. Do you know, is that your real hair? Did you have a wig? I no, that's his real hair. Yeah. Here. That's your He's real always hair. always do that. You can make a story go work, right? <laughs> and is that, is that Gracie Finney? I don't know. Okay. It's pretty early on, but it look, look, you know, it looks like a pretty early version of the show. Yeah. There you go. Doug, thank you so much for sharing all those memories with us. We really appreciate yeah. it. You have quite a career, sir.